Here we are in San Francisco, a city with weather as diverse as its cultures. We have something very special. It's called a microclimate. And the microclimate is shaped by the hills and valleys and the fact that there's an ocean on one side of us and a bay on the other. As we meander around the city, we'll find temperature differences of 10 degrees. You can be in the sunset in a cold fog bank and then just step across a line at the crest of a hill and be in bright sunlight and warm weather. And especially if you go down that hill into the Mission District. San Francisco has some serious hills. Sutro Hill is over 900 feet above sea level and I'm standing at sea level. That's quite a serious climb for me, a hiker or a bicyclist. And it's even a serious climb for the marine layer blowing in from the Pacific Ocean. That cold air has to make it up over that 900 foot high hill. It can't do it most of the time. And when it does, you see the fog indicating where that marine layer is creeping over the top of the hill. But then it has to fall down the far side. Now here's the interesting thing. When the air falls down from above over a hill, it gets compressed as it moves down to higher pressures. And that compression warms it and evaporates the fog. So the foggy air just vanishes as it arrives downtown or in the Mission District. And that's why we have microclimates. Behind me is the Golden Gate Bridge. And the bridge deck on the Golden Gate Bridge is 230 feet above the water. The top of the towers is 750 feet above the water. We can use those as a gauge when the fog comes in to measure the height of the fog. And you have to realize the hills of San Francisco are 200 feet higher than the top of the towers on the Golden Gate Bridge. The hills of San Francisco were formed far in the geologic past. It turns out there's a Pacific Ocean conveyor belt. The floor of the Pacific Ocean is moving. There's, there's a, there was a spreading center off the coast of California. And that meant that island arcs, like the one we called Japan, were being crushed into the coast of California. Well, this continuous motion eventually built up mountain ranges. It built up the Sierra Nevada. Now there's a mountain range that really controls the climate. On the west side of the Sierra, we have the fertile valleys of California. On the east side, where all the moist air is blocked and all the rain has fallen out, we have the deserts of Nevada. The same thing happens here in San Francisco. Our mountain ranges in San Francisco are the result of these tectonic forces, the moving plates of the earth, which pushed them up millions of years ago. And here they are today, the hills of San Francisco that shape our weather.